Hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to Upkick MMA episode 338. I am Brendan. This is the last video of the weekend covering Bellator 300 prelims. Okay. If you're looking for the main card, main event, that's in the last video. Subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of stuff. That way you know the next video is coming out. I appreciate you. Let's get started. If you're looking for a specific fight, timestamps are down below. Okay, Bobby Cerrone versus Alberto Garcia. Fun fight to watch. Um, let's see here. Who do we got? Uh, you know what? It wasn't a finish, so they like they don't have a ton of highlights from that one. Uh, hard low kicks for Cerrone, the right hand counter for Garcia. These guys are moving super freaking fast. Cerrone landing a right hand, dropping Garcia with a, <clears throat> and then gets in a like a tight guillotine, but he lets it go. Garcia gets the back of Cerrone at one point, back to the feet, and Cerrone stays on him and back to the ground. Cerrone lifts him up and slams him on his neck, and they're back up. What a crazy round. Uh, Cerrone hurt him in that first round and had him in trouble. 10 9. Cerrone right away landing that right hand. Garcia stumbles. Oh, let's see here. Sorry, I'm pulling up the scorecards. Uh, they exchanged positions on the ground, but Sronio did more damage. Uh, it, it wasn't the most active round, but I had him up 20 to 18. Uh, Seronio landing the right hand again and the low kicks. Garcia gets a takedown and stays in control for the mess of the rest of the round. Uh, I, I guess you could give that last round uh, to Garcia, but... Uh, you know, I had Seronio win this 29 and 28. Uh, who is this one? Wait, what the heck? Are you kidding me with this? Anyway, uh, he gets the win. It's, uh, this drives me crazy. Yeah, Seronio gets all three judges' scorecards, 30 to 27. Easy peasy. Good job. All right. Moving on here. Good God. Uh, Sarah McMahon taking on Liam McCourt. McCourt moves in with some hooks, and McMahon gets a takedown against the fence. McMahon was poked in the eye really hard. Uh, no point deduction there. Uh, McMahon... Um, actually, he didn't even catch it. McMahon on the back body lock. McCourt landing some elbows from the back uh, back of the head for free, which must be nice. Uh, two fouls go unnoticed. McCourt throws her to the ground, gets on top, uh, laying out some ground and pound, and gets the finish. Congratulations, Leah McCourt. She'll be taking on Chris Cyborg and getting beat next. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Jesse Roberts taking on Sergio, uh, Sergio Cosio. <laughs> This fight was fun to watch. Uh, you could really tell the tides were turning. Uh, Robert gets in a single leg and into a half guard, uh, gets in a mount, and then going for the arm triangle, uses that to get to the back. Could give this one a 10-8 for the sub attempts, uh, and he just dominated this round. Roberts was up. Uh, Cosio up with the, um, with the pressure but gets caught up in the clinch, and Roberts just pulls him down. Roberts uh, gets to the back yet again for most of this round, 20-17 to 17 on my scorecard. Cosio swinging big. Uh, big hook, so Robert kind of looks tired. Uh, Cosio now landing some hard right hands, left hands going to the body. Roberts is exhausted, but Cosio gets tangled in the clinch yet again. Robert gets the back body lock and takes him down, but they reverse and swing around, and Cosio ends up getting the triangle finish, the inverted triangle finish. What a crazy comeback for him! Fantastic. All right, we can fly through these. Let's go. Henry Corrales versus Kai Kamaka. I don't agree. Uh, Corrales landing. Landing the low kick, putting Kamaka down, then another one, landing another one. Corrales sticking to those low kicks. Kamaka gets poked in the eye. Not great. Corrales landing the counter right as Kamaka landing the one two. Both guys landing low kicks. Corrales landed more damage in this first round for sure. Kai finding his groove as the round went on, but Corrales definitely won this first round 10 9. Second round here. Corrales landing that low kick. Kamaka landing his kicks to the body. Kamaka landing a nice jab. Corrales landing an overhand right. And they, after they exchanged kicks, anytime they would come together, it seemed like. Kai would he would land a couple things, but Corrales would land the harder shots, and those low kicks were there for him all day. Corrales landing an overhand right after they exchanged low kicks, very close round in the second with Kamaka, probably outlanding him, and you know with the damage he he probably got the damage in this round, but it was really close. So nineteen to nineteen, last round trade low kicks again. 
Uh, Corrales landing the overhand right again. Corrales getting dirty in there and landing some more shots as they exit with close range. Uh, Corrales going, uh, goes and picks up his mouthpiece and Kamaka goes to punch him. You know, kind of a bitch move. Uh, you know, yeah, you're supposed to defend yourself at all times, but if you see, see a guy actively going to pick up his mouthpiece and then you go to punch him in the, like, what the fuck are you doing? I mean, maybe he's just caught up in the moment. Shit happens. Uh, luckily, the referee stepped in because that would have been real bad. Uh, Kamaka is backing up and Kraus is unloading on him. And the way this round, the way this fight ended was definitely in the favor of Kraus. There's, in my opinion, there's no way that he should have lost this fight. 29 and 28. But we will look at some judges scorecards here because this is ridiculous. The way they have these listed is unreal. I don't want those. I want to know. There it is. Okay. Let's look at the scorecard, shall we? All right. You have Derek clearly scoring it exactly how I scored it, right? First and last round for Henry Corrales, right? 10 9, 10 9. Easy. That makes sense. Ron McCarthy. You know, he, he gives the uh, first two rounds to Kamaka, which I can understand, so that's fine. But he gives the last round to Corrales, which is for sure. There is no way Corrales lost that last round. So I understand the scorecard. And then uh, here's the last one. Elliot Kelly? Never heard of him. Who the hell is this? Uh, He's refed, or he's... He's judged Bellator and Cage Warriors events pretty much only in California, it looks like. And he's been the dissenting judge at least once, but I'd have to go back and uh, look at each one of those to see how he how he decides things. Point is, this is wrong. This is bad. You cannot give Kamaka that last round. And knowing what you know about the fight and how the fight was going... You got to wonder what was actually going on with Elliot Kelly here. Ron McCarthy, Derek, clearly they have their faults and they can do whatever, but I felt like they were fair. You know, given the first two rounds to Kamaka, I get it. It's that first round. If you give that first round to Kamaka, yeah, I, I, I could see that one. I didn't see it that way. I gave it to Corrales, but you can make the argument. And the same here, first two rounds here, obviously, you know, you give them to Kamaka. I just made that. I just told you, you could give them those. That last round, you cannot give to Kamaka. So what are they actually watching that... Which did he fall asleep during the last 10 seconds? Because that was the difference maker. They were virtually even in that last round. And then Henry Corrales stepped away. And, but here's the thing. It wouldn't have mattered anyway. Corrales couldn't have, could have freaking shot the guy in the last 10 seconds and it wouldn't have mattered. Uh, whatever. Yeah. Elliot Kelly. That's a shit show. Uh, horrible scorecard. All right, Davion Franklin versus Slim uh, Trebelsi. Franklin chasing him down, landing a 1-2. Trebelsi looking for that takedown. Trebelsi gets it at 245. This one was unfortunate. Um, I think he uh, uh, Trebelsi stays on him, gets him back to the ground, and Franklin hurts his knee. So he picks him back up here, and he goes on that single leg. Yep, that didn't look good. And then he starts tapping to that. It just messed up his. It messed up his knee. Oh well. I mean, that sucks for him. I really don't like seeing people get injured like that. <clears throat> All right. And Dovletzan, uh, Yag Shamiradov versus Machez Rozanski. I think that's how you pronounce it. Leg kicks from Yag Shamiradov. Uh, Yaksha Miradov was landing the uppercut. He lands a leaping lead left hook, landing really well with the one-two in this round. Rosansky landing the counter right. Left right hook for Rosansky as Yags. I, I wrote down Yags for short, sorry. So if I say that again, it's Yaksha Miradov. It's just a lot to write down when you're writing down notes. Uh, Yaksha Miradov was circling. Uh, he looked real good in this round, landing the bigger shots, obviously 10-9. Second round here, uppercut landing for Yaksha Miradov and the left hook from... <clears throat> 
with Rosansky landing the uh, hard right hand. Rosansky getting uh, a right hand that staggers Yagsha Miradov, uh, and then Yagsha Miradov landing the right, stopping Rosansky in his tracks. Yagsha Miradov getting the single leg takedown back up with 100 uh, with 140 left in the round. Damage went back and forth, but Yagsha Miradov landed enough, and his top control time makes the difference to me. 20 to 18. It was a close round, though. Last round, Yozansky's, uh Rosansky is still following to, and still taking the one-two from Yag uh, Miradov. And then he gets the big lift and a slam and stays on top for the rest of the round. And he did a ton of damage in here. And this is like what he, he cut him open right at the end. Yeah, this is the big slam. Boom. That's a big lift for a big boy. Then he cuts him right here with an elbow. Pop. Yeah, definitely won that last round. Um, let's see here because I think there was a little bit of confusion. No, there wasn't. Uh, let's see here. Uh, both Hadi Muhammad and Wade Vieira gave Rosansky the second round. Understandable. That's not bad. And Derek clearly gave all three rounds to uh, Yag Shmiradov. Again, though, that's fine. Both scorecards are that. Both of those are valid. Moving on. Let's fly through this. Come on. All right. Herman Trotto taking on uh, Mohamed uh, Birhamov. Birhamov pressuring, kicking to the body. Trotto is doing this awkward entry and exit to his right, and he just overshoots every single time. Uh, Birhamov was controlling the cage and just picking Trotto apart. Trotto is willingly backing himself up to the fence, and he just stands there, and he explodes hitting air. Right? So he lost the first round. Birhamov not really looking to finish the fight, so it turns out to be real boring. 20 to 18. And then the last, the note I have for the last round is what a snoozer because that's all he did. He just walked forward and threw one or two pot shots. You want to talk about the main event being a stinker. This was worse. Horrible. Grant Neal versus Romero Cotton. Uh, Neal going to the body with the jab and the low kick. Nice left hand from Neal as he's pressuring the whole time. Neal landing the better shots in this first round and controlling the cage. 10-9. Cotton starting to move forward, landing some nice body shots. Neal landing a nice overhand right uh, right counter. Cotton looking to tie up. Nice jab from Cotton. That's the best shot he's landed all night. Uh, Neal landing more shots this round. I had him up 20-18. to 18. Neal getting the takedown. No damage, just control. Uh, and then he lands the lead left hook, and Cotton continues to push forward and takes a takes a right hand in the face. Uh, Neal's landing the jab and the straight at wheel as uh, Cotton starts to get tired here in the last round, and then Neal gets the takedown, and that's how the fight ends. Let's see here. Uh, let's see how discord it for this one. Mm -mm -mm. Yep, same thing. Chris Lieben had all three going to Neil and John Rigliano and Elliot Kelly again, given uh, that second round to Romero Cotton. That's understandable. It wasn't horrible watching it live. I, I disagree, but uh, I could I could see that being the case. Do 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 two to go. Ilara Joani versus uh, Jenna Bishop. Uh, this was a sloppy but fun kind of flop, uh, sloppy fight, right? This was, you know, both women just going crazy, staying in tight, throwing hooks. Bishop gets to the ground, but then they get right back up. Bishop getting the body lock sweep, getting the arm bar. Beautiful finish here. She gets that body lock sweep right here. Just whoop. Drags that leg out. Gets up to mount. Or did she take the back? No, I don't remember. I didn't write it down. But then... Uh, yeah, it was from the back. It was from the back. So she she goes from the back and just locks up that arm. Beautiful transition. And then gets the finish here from the arm bar. Pop, pop, pop. That's the end of it. Jenna Bishop looking really good on the ground. Kind of weird that that was so early on. One of the best fights. Spencer Smith versus Josh Hokett. Uh... Hard low kick from Smith. Uh, Hoka gets a takedown. This looks like a dual debut where both guys swinging big, but not with a lot of setups. You know, it looked like it because that's what it was. You know, you can't fault them for doing this. Hokit landing more damage in this first round, 10-9. Hoka getting the takedown. Smith really just isn't landing much. Hokit landing a jab and low kick. Low kick. Low kick for Hokit. 
He gets him down again, lands some decent damage. Smith might have landed like four shots in this whole second round. So 20 to 18, boring round in the third. But Hokit finally gets a single leg and gets to the arm triangle and gets a finish here. Uh, good job for Hokit. You can see him already setting it up. His head, yeah, his head's already behind in behind the arm. He just walks it out to the side. Gets the finish here. Boom. Hook it with the finish. All right. That is it for Bellator 300. All the coverage. Appreciate you all for stopping by. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. That way you know the next video is coming out. I appreciate you. If you like this video, hit the like button. Love you guys. Have an amazing week.